how to make MIDI notes from audio recordings, especially guitar and lead, melodic sounds and things like that, maybe chords. How to make them on the fly in real time. Well, there's a thing called MIDI Guitar 2, and it's pretty accurate. Now, you can do this kind of transcription um, with many kinds of software, especially AI-driven software these days. But this one does it on the fly within your DAW. So that's very handy. Is it super duper accurate? It's pretty accurate for some things, and especially monophonic material. But other things like Melodyne, that could be more accurate. There's just a few more steps. So this is just about getting these kinds of chords pretty quickly and notes pretty quickly uh, without having to do much else. And it's mainly for sound design. So you can have the MIDI source material um, at your disposal for dubbing purposes. All right, now on to it. So what is this thing? Okay, so first of all, you have to set up a MIDI, MIDI import in your DAW. And it works really well here. Some software, the MIDI import has trouble finding itself. Anyways, I just have mine set to all. And then uh, this way I can play on the track that has the MIDI instrument, or I can just record from the MIDI Guitar 2. Now what MIDI Guitar 2 also does is it mutes um, the source recording as well. So you, you would just hear the notes from the MIDI Guitar 2 that it's generating. So in other words, I'm going to play two clavs. One is the real instrument, and then one is a recording, and then MIDI Guitar 2 playing the instrument again through the MIDI creation. I'll leave this window open so you can see it creates the MIDI on the fly. So here we go. This is the original recording. So one thing I have found is you do have to transpose this. There may be ways around that coming up in the future. I don't know. So this is the original recording. And I did not mean to do that exact riff, but there it is. All right, so let me retranspose that. And I just made a bounce of that, and that's what this green thing is right here. So here we'll have MIDI guitar play that same instrument and generate the notes on the fly in real time, and you'll be able to see them here. All right, so as you can hear, those MIDI notes that it just created were pretty accurate. There's ways of adjusting the threshold for more accuracy and messing with the tunings as well. This isn't going to pick up everything, but it picks up a lot of like melodic material. And that's kind of the point of using this system is to extract chords from the upper, the mids and the upper regions of melodic material. And they also have one for bass too as well, come to think of it. So this is polyphonic material, so it doesn't capture quite as well but it does capture some key elements, which is cool. So we switch it to polyphonic, and we first we'll hear the original source. And so whenever you want to re-enable the audio on the track, you just bypass MIDI guitar, so we can hear the original source. All right, so then when we re-enable it, go back to our track, we'll hear what the clavinet version sounds like, now it's going to capture a lot of extra notes, and those would be finessed later on. But it gets the gist of what's going on. So here you can see it captured sort of the low stuff, which was what was going on. And then the upper stuff it sort of got as like a chatter. So that could be for consideration. Um, as far as like what you want to do with those chords and things like that. It's again, it's not, this is a very complex uh, sound wave here, but it, the point is just to get like some key ingredients like these lower notes and then potentially stack some additional ones where, where applicable on top of that. So I just wanted to give this quick example of like how that works. You can edit this in the piano roll or the score editor to clean it up. And then also they have their own inbuilt instruments they have a lot of features, obviously, but they also have some cool instruments you can play right off the bat so that if you want to see what your thing sounds like through, let's say, a electric piano real quick. So in this case, we could hear, because we selected their piano, uh, we could hear what the piano would sound like overdub with that. So, for instance, what you would do with something like that is record that and then use the MIDI notes and then dub in your recording. So here's a piano. I'll set it up just like how it actually works. 
with their EP. I really don't use the Logic EP much, but here we go. So this is their basic EP. All right. And then we would just change the MIDI. The MIDI is already good because it's set to all. So we will receive that signal automatically. I have the clavinet muted, and I'm going to turn this off. We don't need that. So we'll hear this, this version of the render from the MIDI notes. All right, so I'll record that. All right, so with that recording, now that it's in MIDI, I would then bounce that if I needed to. But I'm doing it basically so you can hear the overdub, how it sounds very quickly. I, actually, I could have just left that unbounced, but you can also do that. And so then we'll mute this, and then we'll hear, we'll have to turn this off, and this way we hear the guitar playing with the EP. Here, I'll do it again. So that's an example of like an EP, but of course, we're going to do this with cool sounds, things like synthesizers and, you know, advanced process stacks of sounds and things like that. So that's the point. You, you extract the notes, and then you can create whatever the heck soup you want from those notes, and you can leave in the chatter, or you can try to filter some of that out using their uh, various tunings and also their uh, noise gate. And obviously, if you are doing just monophonic material, make sure you set it to monophonic because as you saw, it got a really good render of that material. So anyways, that's MIDI Guitar 2, real-time MIDI creation from audio tracks on the fly in your DAW for instant re-instrumenting.